So in the lead up to E3, Sony announced price drops on a bunch of their stuff, including um, the PlayStation VR with a $100 price drop, bringing the full bundle with Skyrim, the Move controllers, and the camera to $250, which was surprisingly almost the exact amount that I had in uh, forgotten GameStop credit, so I decided to take the plunge. My name is Charlie, and this is a lukewarm review of the PlayStation VR and assorted games that I either got for free or cheap with it. Um, I had seen the reviews when this thing came out about a year and a half ago, and um, positive for a cheap VR experience. I had done some Oculus and some um, Vive at various arcades, room scale VR, and I was okay with it. Um, I wanted it for myself, but I don't trust my PC to really keep up with it. And the technology is changing that I didn't want to drop like 500 in it. 250 was really the price point that I was willing to uh, spend for an investment. And uh, I've been messing around with it for the past day or two. Uh, being a PlayStation Plus member, there was a bunch of free experiences that they give for PS Plus games. Including, um, I totally forgot what this name, game is, uh, House of Blood. And it is... A Until Dawn offshoot, which a uh, shooting gallery. Um, I had heard complaints that the Move controllers were not really uh, precision instruments, and everything being based off the PlayStation VR, which is in that bottom corner, uh, was kind of off enough to make you sick. Um, so far, I haven't had any issues with it. And I think part of that is because most of these games are stationary experiences; you're either sitting, standing, maybe doing some dodging, and um, I've really enjoyed it so far. 250 or 200 was the absolute right price for me. Um, if you're looking for a VR experience, I think that Sony's put the investment into the software uh, quite a bit. They're paying people to put the stuff on uh, PlayStation VR. So I had done, um, my wife did some Playroom VR. I've done uh, every free game. So the Sun Till Dawn offshoot, about a half hour of Skyrim, which I'm not going to beat the game in VR, but it's fun to go back to. And it's completely ridiculous that that didn't include a version of Skyrim that you can just play on the PS4 without VR. But most of the stuff that you play on VR is on the screen at the same time so other people can take it in with you. And PlayStation, uh, the PlayStation Room VR actually let you and the VR person play. Like it's different sides of the coin and uh, it was fun. I hope they do more of that stuff. I don't think VR is ready for prime time. Uh, most of the stuff was good for like 20 minutes, and I would have ended it with that. But then I downloaded Rec Room, which is free for, I think, every VR platform. I played with a bunch of people that were on uh, PC, and we played disc golf, um, racquetball, and some other stuff. And it's like a very low-fi polygons. So they don't try and make it look real like Until Dawn, um, like PlayStation area, like a high-res PlayStation game. But it's so fun, and the atmosphere is so perfect, and it seems like they have like every playground game in there, laser tag, anything you'd want to play as a kid. And I was having a blast, and chatting with people, because this thing has a built-in headset, or a headset you can plug in and take out and with 3D audio, added a lot to the experience. And it was uh, distance audio, too. So like I was away from them, I could barely hear them, I got closer, and I could hear them, so we were like yelling to each other. It was really cool. And I haven't been immersed like that, like through a game, in a long time. So um, for two fifty, you're getting this stuff. I, it's a good kit. They may announce another version. I don't think they're going to cancel the PlayStation VR initiative. And I think until this stuff is completely wireless and possibly all the units in the headset, um, I don't think it's going to be like the next big thing. But uh, I look forward to tooling around with the free stuff and the cheap stuff that comes out for this. Uh, Best Buy's got a bunch of the games for like 10 bucks. Um, I can get an hour of enjoyment out of it. That's good for me. Um, I think even though the games are like, like this is a just a shooting gallery, and that movement is my head. But um, even though the games aren't like the huge experience mammoth Fallout style things, even though Fallout might be ported to this, that's not a VR game. Like that's not built from the ground up in VR. I don't think they've found like their Mario Brothers. Or like the thing that's really, or their Halo, or the thing that really sets VR apart. Maybe it's Rec Room. Um, but it's enjoyable. And a lot of these things are shorter experiences that are hopefully going to be lower cost. And 
I know a lot of them haven't made the money they were expecting, but um, I hope they keep trying. I hope Sony keeps uh, subsidizing some of these to get the platform live, and it gives them a good like offshoot from their big single-player games like God of War and to stuff experimental stuff. Like, you can try out new developers, try out new things. And this game was probably cheaper to put together aside from the VR technology, and I'm hoping new stuff comes in. And also returns to old stuff. Like, this is straight-up light-gun shooter. Um, so, I uh, I forgot if I give numbers for, uh, what is it, uh, lukewarm takes. But um, I'd recommend it at 250 if you're looking for an entry-level VR experience. It is not a vibe. You might get made fun of by PC guys, but... Some to do, and some of the games they totally work with it. I uh, just remind you, this is not room scale VR, so the stuff where you're walking around in a room, this doesn't do. It does some tracking, like ducking and stuff like that, but you walk in forward and back. Most of the games don't support that at all, which um, means I haven't ran through my window or ran through my door um, or broke my TV yet. So uh, more to come. Uh, thanks for watching for whoever does this and. Uh, if you get a PSVR and you want to play Rec Room, uh, hit me up. All right. Thank you for watching.